So today I went through and I put in uh, all of the uh, uh, nursery cloth and then um, mulched around these trees. This uh, little weeping pine's been going crazy. I need to, to make some, some cuts back there at some point to try to, to get growth out to the other sides. Uh, but it's doing very well here and now the pinky winky also is starting to show a little bit of pink on the bottom this was the I think it was Tinkerbell I can't remember the name exactly I've got it written down inside but it's doing well this is all all new growth up here I think uh, and you notice I, I've been decided to use that uh, fossilized clay to uh, shore up the, the the water wells. Same thing here. This guy's in pretty good shape. And this is the this is the uh, the white lilac. We've got a couple leaves that are dead. I, I went through and cut off a bunch of the lower ones, but you notice here that we've got uh, what looks like growth. And, and this has been here for about a week and a half, so I'm, I'm hopeful that that's going to eventually turn into something, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this plant's gonna survive. I've gone through and done some more trimming on the, on the uh, wisteria. And this evening I'm gonna come through and I'm gonna sit in the back at some point got the, the candles out here so I was gonna sit down and this other one I, I also mulched I'm gonna get a, a big heavy load of mulch to do this this whole area over the next couple next couple uh, well maybe next weekend uh, everyone else is doing well the grass has gone crazy unfortunately and I just found this little guy this little baby uh, pine. Uh, it was against the house, and you know, I wanted to see it live, but I knew that I couldn't let it grow up right next to the base of the house, so I, I pulled it out, and, and the root base was completely flat. So I, I just transplanted it into this uh, bonsai pot, and we'll see what we can get out of that. Everyone else is in, in quite good shape. Uh, pretty soon it's gonna be getting down into the 40s, so I'm gonna to have to start thinking about bringing the uh, bringing the uh, citrus trees in. I've been having, you know, on and off having some. Uh, oops. On and off, I've been having some blossoms. I don't know if any of them have set. That this one hasn't, uh, but there's one right next to it, so I'm I'm hopeful. And finally, this. Uh, I put a little bit of mulch here as well. But finally this, uh, I don't know what you want to call this, but this uh, little succulent is, is uh, taken off and it's produced a, a flower that looks very similar to uh, this one over here. This, this one had pink flowers and uh, this one's got white flowers. That's the news from the garden.